Tito also reminded us, we have to be forever watchful. Because if you remember what happened on 9-11, and if you're following any of the political conversations to this day, you know that this is not a part of ancient history. And it may not even be considered history because it's still a current topic of discussion. This is a picture of President Truman, and he is addressing the members of the 442nd. And at that time, he told them, you fought not only the enemy, but you fought prejudice, and you won both. President Reagan in 1988, when he signed the Civil Liberties Act, he told them that the blood that is soaked into the sands of a beach is of all one color. America stands unique in the world, the only country not founded on race, but on a way, an ideal. Government actions were based on hysteria, racism, and a failure of leadership in the government. And President Clinton, too, when he gave out some of the uh, Presidential Medals of Honor, <clears throat> said, rarely has a nation been so well served by a people it has so ill-treated. In the face of painful prejudice, they help define America. So, Amy and Lily, do you have any final thoughts that you'd like to, to share? Well, it wasn't only the civilians, because way back, I can't remember the dates, yep. the, the, somebody decided that, you know, there were, for the casualties, the 442nd and the 100th Battalion, they suffered more casualties per percentage-wise than any other group. And so there was a lot of research done, and they wondered why was on what, two Medal of Honors presented? Well, after going through the record, 21, was it 21 or was it 22 more, were given out. And one of those was given to a Senator, uh, Dan Inouye, from uh, Hawaii. But they, after they checked the records, because there was, they couldn't understand why. And there was still prejudice. Some of you may know Dick Nido, that he lived in Thomas. He graduated from Kent High School in 30-something. Anyway, he, he, he returned back to Spokane after he served. He was discharged. And I thought, you know, whether it was American Legion or the Veteran of Foreign Wars, they wouldn't accept American Legion as a member because they didn't want him. He was Japanese. And oh, Nancy, you have a copy of a letter, don't you, that I had found. And, uh, it's at the Kent Museum. He wrote back and why he felt that he should be a member. But he was denied membership just just because of his ancestry. And then talking about Doc Howell, I didn't find this out till I can't remember. We were on a trip with Coach uh, Nagel. The ones that shot the law off at the Doc Howell prison mm -hmm. was from Belgium, mm -hmm. the 522nd. But I don't know why for me, I can't remember his name. He passed away about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. but, see, they weren't allowed to do no, no. And he, like he said, that months, months more, yeah. they weren't allowed to talk about it. It was a very good Any questions? Any uh, comments? Um, oh.